hello everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again guys for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my beautiful people really appreciate you and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country um, some reshuffling is going on um, in Edo State. The one we've got right now is from Edo State from the police um, force. A new commission of police has been redeployed to Edo State while um, the current one has uh, moved up the rank. He has now become AIG. That is uh, um, a good one for him. You know, in, in the midst of um, the insecurity issues we are going through all across the country, not just in Edo State, in every part of the country, uh, some of um, these um, changes are required. We know Kukumo has done very well for Edo State. He served um, his time. And, um, you know, these are part of reward system. Promotions are part of reward system. He's done his bit. And right now he has been promoted to Assistant Inspector General of Police. That is um, a good one. And um, <laughs> kudos to him. But we just hope that um, as the new um, Commissioner of Police has just been redeployed um, to Edo State, Aliyu, Agbadu, we hope that um, they continue to work together to ensure that um, the, the, the mandate and uh, the goal that Governor Gordon Obaseki has regarding um, Edo State, the security state of the, the state. You know, he stated that um, very soon Edo State will be the safest place that um, those hoodlums, the criminal element, they will not find it comfortable anymore to remain in Edo State. They will all be sent packing. I know that's, um, that sounds good to the ears of everyone because everyone wants a safe community. We want a community where we and our loved ones can be safe. Anyway, guys, um, we'll bring more details as to all that's going on regarding the re recent reshuffling. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Thank you once again. Edo State Police Command has formally announced the deployment of Mr. Philip Aliyu Agbadu as Commissioner of the command. The command in a statement by his spokesman SP Chidi Wambuzo noted that the CP replaced Mr. Babatunde Kukumo who was promoted AIG and has since proceeded to Federal Operations Force Headquarters Abuja. The new Commissioner of Police succeeds AIG Johnson Babatunde Kukumo who was only recently promoted to the rank of Assistant Inspector General of Police and redeployed to Abuja as the new Assistant Inspector General of Police in charge. Federal Operations Force Headquarters, the statement said, it described Agbadu as a thoroughbred police officer who has brought intellectualism, professionalism, and a zero tolerance for human rights abuses to bear in the operations of the command. He pledges to serve the people of Edo State with humility and integrity, to leverage and improve on the already existing security architecture and mechanism in place by the predecessors towards ensuring safety and security in the state. The new CP enlisted into the Nigerian Police Force on the 15th of March 1988 as a cadet assistant superintendent of police and attended the prestigious police academy Woodley. Kano State. He hails from Aigba in Dakina, local government area of Kogi State, and holds a Bachelor's of Science degree in Economics from the University of Ilorin, Kwara State, and a Master's of Science degree in Economics from the Enugu State University of Science and Technology, Enugu. So they've just given us um, a brief of um, the, um, the new Commissioner of Police's uh, biography and um, what he's where he's coming from, where he hails from. He's from Kogi State. That will be the new commissioner of police. I know uh, with um, Kukumo, a lot of persons are, have been very familiar with him and um, all of um, his um, plans for the state regarding security, security-wise, how he has been collaborating with the governor to ensure that the state is safe. My hope that um, there will be continuity. Let it not be that all of the things he started, all of the projections he had for the state, now that he's been redeployed to Abuja, 
and promoted at the same time for um, a higher tax AIG. We hope that um, those things that he started will not just um, lie on the decks and rot away, that there will be continuity. You know, that's one of the challenges we're having in our country. Continuity is an issue, even with governors. When they leave, um, the, when they leave the seat, the new governor that comes in, often more often than not starts they begin to start new projects abandon the the existing ones that need completion continuity is what moves a state forward so there are a lot of things that um, kukuma has put in place even um during the hashtag answers that um that was hijacked by hoodlums and um, um prisons were broken inmates were let loose into the into the the community not an interesting one at all but we know that um He's pledged a lot of um, things to see that um, every one of those um, emails that escaped, they come back and um, he's really working closely. He was working closely. I would use words because he's he's been um, redeployed now and he has resumed in Abuja. He was working closely with the Edo state governor to ensure that um, the security uh, architecture in the state is intact. So we hope that um, this new one, um, Philip Aliu Agbadu, that's his name, is the new commissioner of police that has just been um, deployed to Edo State. So guys, uh, we've got a new commissioner of police in Edo State. We hope that um, he would work together um, with uh, with the governor as well, the governor of Edo State, and also um, the other police force that he, he meets there, and to see that um, we tackle this insecurity together, because the police, they have a, a serious role to play. We know um, indigents, uh, we do have a role to play as well. You know, regarding the um, vigilante that Governor Gordon Obaseki launched of recent, you know, everyone is collaborating, all the stakeholders, all the um, security outfits, we're all working together to ensure that um, we get rid of um, all of these um, insurgents in our neighborhood, in our communities. And what is interesting and pleasing is that um, he's got loads of experience in his sleeves, um, well um, educated, not just that he's been serving uh, from a long time that he joined in joined the Nigerian police force in March 1988 as a cadet assistant superintendent of police. That is how he started and from there moved on to the prestigious police academy. So he's got um, uh, uh, loads of experience. We hope that um, he will bring all of those on board. And at the same time, be ready to serve because all of these positions, they, they have to do with serving as well, serving the people. Anyway, guys, that's the news we've got. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe till I come your way again with more updates. Bye for now and God bless.